I don't want you to feel you have to conform to what I say is entertainment any more than what Hollywood tells you is entertainment. Personal taste is one of the few areas where there is room to be an individual in our modern world. But then, there's nothing wrong with agreeing with others that dog shit isn't very tasty either. Let's get this out of the way too. There is nothing you can say in this film's defense that I don't already know. And it all boils down to the same thing. For whatever reason, this movie sucks. The problem is, it still sucks. If hearing that makes you uncomfortable, you may want to leave now. One thing people bring up to defend this film is the fact that it was ambitious, but undermined by the studios. To that I answer again, I don't care. It doesn't make it any less awful, because he knew what was going on when he went in. He convinced them that he could make this work. Now that's the point to remember. It wasn't that everything was in place and they mucked it up. He wanted to do something, they said what they actually wanted, and he sold them on the idea that he could do his story their way. This kind of thing happens out there, and it sucks. But that doesn't make a movie any less stupid if you go along with it. If you say, I want to make a movie about the Holocaust, and the studio says, we want our next picture to be a musical comedy. Are you actually going to keep your idea? Are you really going to do a musical comedy about the Holocaust? When it obviously combines two things that don't go together. And please stop saying springtime for Hitler. There's a difference between finding comedy in an evil dictator and finding comedy in a death camp. And yeah, it sucks that you can't do the film you want. But what's the alternative? What do you do when the parameters are so at odds with what you're trying to achieve?